to learn with the parsley. Today I'm going to show you how to do standard form or scientific notation. It's the same thing. This video is basically a request from one of my viewers and subscribers. So let's get straight into it. When a number, when a rational number is written in the form of a times 10 to the n power, we can say that this is in standard form or scientific notation. So let us do some examples. Here we have 7, 4, 9, 1, 2, and we are going to write this number into standard form. We want it to look like this up here. We want it to look like a times 10 to the n power, right? So this number starts with a number that is greater than zero. Therefore, we have to put a decimal point right here. So we, we, must, we must ensure that our decimal point is behind the first digit that is greater than zero. Therefore, the decimal point should be between the seven and the four. But to do that, I have to count how many places are places that I need to move in order to reach to here. So let us count. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. So we move four places to the left, right? Why am I emphasizing on four places? The amount of places that we move will dictate the index. So we can write 7.4912 times 10. Because we move four places to the left, our index, our power should be four. So the 10 would be the base here. So this is how we would write this number into standard form. Let us do another example. So we can say this is number two. What if we were given 0.000? .000 Two five four six, right? And we were asked to write this into standard form, right? This number starts with a zero. So we have to move to the right this time. And when we move to the right, our index, our power is going to be negative. We are going to get a negative index, right? So what I'm going to do here is to move the decimal point until I reach a number that is greater than zero. So the, this decimal point should be right here between the five and the two. Yes, it should be between the five and the two. To do that, I have to move the decimal point. So let us, let us count how many places we need to move. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. So we move four places to the right. You see that? Therefore, I can write 2.546 times 10, right? So we can write 10 to the negative fourth power, right? Because we move four places 
to the right. So we're, so we're, so our power is a negative, right? And notice this number starts with a zero. So we write, so we move the decimal point until we reach behind the first digit that is greater than zero. So two is greater than zero. 